Hello everybody. I um, wanted to put out this video right quick because I got a few circuits that I use that I wanted to show everybody. Um, this is one right here. This is the world's smallest hopper timer. As far as I know, I don't think there's one any smaller. I came up with this design trying to come up with my own, of course. And the way this works is whenever you input a signal right here, you'd have to put a block here and then put a redstone uh, repeater going into it or dust or whatever because you don't want to send the signal through here. Anyway, whenever you introduce a signal to that dropper, it puts an item into this dropper, the item, excuse me, and then it just counts down all the items from one hopper to the next, and as soon as it gets through running the items back through, it'll automatically reset. And there are many ways to get a, a output out of this thing. I'll let y'all figure that out. Y'all know how to use hopper timers. Okay, over here we have a hopper clock. This right here is made by a um, minecraft with dummies some years back and uh like i can't remember how many years but it's been some years but people have been trying to figure out how to make these extended longer and, and my design's a little bit more elegant a lot of people like to daisy chain these things which can get big and bulky really 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 quick all right so instead of doing that um just put one item in a dropper like this these the droppers are facing each other and every time this goes through one cycle, which is five minutes, it'll send out a signal from this redstone torch right here. And it'll make one item go from this dropper to this dropper. And as soon as all the items are out of this dropper, it will make this comparator go off, which will cause this torch burnout right here to click eight times. And it'll automatically reset the items that you have in here. Now it's one item for every five minutes. But you can make this timer go up to nine minutes long, but you would need a different reset mechanism instead of a torch burnout. Now, to take, take into account that it takes a while to count items back. So if you wanted like a, a nine hour timer for something, you could, this, this could work for that. But you would have, have to have like an infinite clock set up right here. And whenever it, it goes off, the infinite clock will automatically remo remove all the items out of here until this comparator turns back off. Okay, uh, but I, you can figure out how to do that. That's pretty easy. But this right here is just a simple setup. Um, right now, like I said, you can go up to eight items. So that's uh, 40 minutes. All right, so th that's pretty long for just about anything you need to do. Um, it, unless you're AFKing overnight for something, in which case you already know what you're doing. Okay, um, but that, that's a, just a little simple design that I came up with uh, because someone on Reddit had asked for it and I wanted to do a quick little video. Okay, um, another thing that people have been asking about are counting circuits. Okay, let me just build you a couple right quick. Okay, so this one dude said he has a four tick pulse generator. I don't know how big it was because he didn't have the... Uh, he didn't have it set up. He didn't have a picture or anything on Reddit, but I wanted to show you how easy it was to do something like that. Okay, so let's put uh, all of our redstone dust out of here. So we have no redstone dust in our inventory right now. This, if you provide us an update to this redstone torch, it will automatically click out eight times. That's the default. Yeah, see, eight pieces of redstone dust. That's the default for any torch burnout. Now, if you wanted to make it go nine times, you'd have to get, like, your input and output changed over. So what I would do for that is I would put one piece of, uh, or run one redstone repeater there, another redstone repeater here, and that would be your output. Now, what this does is it introduces a signal from the, here, whatever signal you got going in to update your torch, and then after that, it'll count out eight more times. So that makes nine. Oh, let's go ahead and uh, show you that right quick. So you introduce a signal right there, and it automatically give us nine pieces of dust back. All right, and Okay, let's let's go with uh let's say we wanted to do like any other number. You can you, there's there's a bunch of different ways to do this. You just change the timing on this. So right now if we introduce a signal to this, that's four. That would be three. One, two, three. 
and this right here would make it just two, I do believe. Yeah, see that's just two. And you can make this count out any way you wanted it to. So like if you wanted to do five, we already know that putting it on two, a, a delay of two will give out two, or yeah, give out a four, excuse me, four ticks. So let's add one to that. I showed you how to do this with nine a while ago. So let's put in all of our redstone dust, put that on a delay of two. This should give us five items. It did not. Wonder why not. Oh, because this right here is updating before this. Easy fix. Let's go like this. All right, now that should do it. It does not. Let's try that. There it is, five items. One more time. These are consistent. You just have to figure out how to do that from your uh, torch burnout. All it is is the matter of delay that you have coming off of a torch burnout. I'm able to do any number from two all the way up to nine and then you can daisy chain a couple of these together if you wanted to make like a, a, a real world clock. There's a bunch of different ways to do this. But these are my counting circuits. I uploaded these like nine years ago, but they didn't get a whole lot of uh, attention. And a lot of people here lately have been asking about them on Reddit. And I just wanted to show people how to put these together. And one more quick sneak peek here. This right here is a fair game slot machine that I came up with. And I just wanted to do something where people would have a fun way of selling stuff in their world. I have a nicer version that I built in another world. Yeah, it's in another world. All right, and uh, basically you can just press this button right here and it runs through one time. And then it's pretty quick. Um, the one that I made in the other world is a lot faster. Whenever that light goes off, you can send through another one. But if you win, it'll give off a, um, um, a really loud bell here. And as you can see, I got it set to go off three times off of a torch burnout. And this right here will tell you you've won. And if you didn't win, this right here will go dun dun. It goes off twice because I got it set to two right there. As you can see, I got another torch burnout right here. And also this right here is what sends it off, sends off the the little mine cart for picking things up. But I also got a in my in my new and improved version in the other world that I was telling you about. If you spend nine times or no seven times and you don't win anything, it'll give you either a free spin or a piece of netherite scrap which is random. I set it up totally random. And all of this fits inside of 11 by 12 by 15. And I'm gonna do a video on this, but also this right here has like a spinning tune. So like while it's spinning around, it makes like this cool little tune, all right? Um, I don't know if you guys can hear it on the video. Let me try turning up my volume here. All right, and show you the auto spin feature as well. I don't know if that's loud enough. It's 
say it won because it lit, it lit up and it also gave me the item. Ooh. Now see these right here, it has like 20 different items you can pay out. It pays out um, for every two of one item. It pays out, you know, like these little littler items, like this right here, this right here, this right here. For three, it pays out, oh no, that's two right there. That's three. You need three of the same item for that, three of the same item for that, two of the same item for that, for that, and three of the same item for that. But I have a better setup in that other world that I was talking about, and that will be on the next video. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys some redstone circuits and hopefully give you some more ideas of things that you can build, especially using torch burnouts. Those don't get near enough attention. I've been using those for well over 10 years, and I got them on my YouTube channel. So if you want to, go check those out. Thank you, everybody.